Good morning, folks. We've got a couple space weather stories to look at today, the atmosphere, the lithosphere, and some news. But let's get started with our star, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. You might have noticed in the beginning sequence there was a bright area coming in on the left. That is a new sunspot group, and we also noticed the dark coronal holes on the disk. Solar flaring is on a slight uptick this morning that is due to the active regions incoming on the left side. Here in 304 angstroms, you more see that they are surrounded by plasma filaments. We are waiting for a solar wind intensification at Earth as the stream keeps on calming. It will be coming from that northern coronal hole as its stream is expected either tonight or tomorrow. Better be soon or else we're going to get a cosmic ray health alert here. And as you know, until the stream arrives, we have been seeing the lithospheric uptick. The six pointers in Micronesia had a 6.1 tagged on there yesterday. That does make for three magnitude six events in the last three days. Hopefully they are not four shocks. Let's go now to Soho. We've been watching Venus come in from the right, but yesterday we mentioned that Mercury will be coming in from the left soon. There it is, small, in between Earth and Sun, so the glare isn't as much it'll be coming in to conjoin the Sun before Venus does. A couple articles to talk about today. Those same New Zealand scientists who a couple of weeks ago put out those phenomenal solar effect papers have come up with one on geomagnetically induced currents, one from 2001 that blew a transformer down there, and they say that the Carrington event could have been 10 times worse. Those sounds, the loud booms that were heard across Florida and parts of the Gulf yesterday, the military has no official explanation for them other than two F-15s that were going at supersonic speeds across the Gulf of Mexico, but even they say they do not know if that could have accounted for the noise. Still a mystery. Lastly, folks, a bit of good news, bad news. The good news is that worldwide story about microplastics harming fish probably not going to be as harmful for the environment as we thought. The bad news is, the reason we thought that is due to scientific misconduct. They completely fabricated the data. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, not only did you have your podcast yesterday fly on the wall, but you got a new Deeper Look episode, starting off a couple of Dark Matter episodes, this one based on an interview I did with Dr. Gurnett from Iowa. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, is 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.